on fire. Hold up. Cheers. How you doing? Good, how are you? You have a good day. Yep, thanks a lot. Okay, let's go. If I can do it, homie, it can't be done. I just got a message, the lady wants some cabinet doors quoted. Uh, I'm gonna order them in, they're a raised panel with an inset bead. It's fresh in my brain, I'm gonna go in. I'm actually gonna order them from Eagle Woodworking, uh, the place that makes the dovetail drawers also. Subs out doors, super easy um, to order. They have all the styles and profiles there. You just click on what you want, put in your sizes. Take me 10 minutes here, I'm gonna get a quote for them. Uh, before I forget about it. Okay, just a handful of doors. Uh, inputted all the information. I usually get a quote back pretty quick. They're gonna be paint grade. Um, the doors were red oak. So obviously paint grade, you don't need red oak, but if you're trying to match a grain, um, especially in a kitchen that's all lit up, you're gonna see the different grain patterns. So even though they're getting painted, I need to match the existing ones in red oak. So after my labor, I'll probably put another 250 on the job just to get some juice on it, as Chris Hempstead calls it. Um, those are good load gigs. They're kind of a pain sometimes, but at the same time, like, hey, a buck's a buck. Oh, this is Jeff. Wrong line, Carla. You're all right. It's it's Jeff Hempstead. I, I can't help. I can't help you with that. Oh, that's all right. Yep. Take care. All right, that last door was a little bit big. Um, just trimmed off a blade, no big deal. We're gonna start tearing these down, finalize sanding the doors, finalize sanding the face frames, get them wrapped up um, and in the trailer out of the way. Everything's done, one center shelf on the big one. A Little bit of trim, time to take them to paint. So I thought, so I thought, so I thought I needed, so I thought, all right, bar fits good. Um, this day is kind of a joke, honestly. <laughs> Handrail's done. I'm gonna go get it from Mike, throw it on. On the road again. Update. Still alive. That's it for that. Bye, Max. Goodbye, other animals, wherever you are. Don't poop inside either. Oh man, Lex, you're in the cage all day. The other dogs are out. Free my homie, Lexi. Where are my manners at? Yesterday's vlog beginned with a man talking about J Dot. He calls me J Dot for some reason. I kind of like it. That is Sean Van Dyke. Sean Van Dyke is the contractor whisperer. Uh, I don't think that's an official name, but it's a name. Uh, what he does is coach contractors and anyone in the trades on profit margins? I don't know. I've never worked with him. Uh, but from what I've seen and what I listen to his stuff on YouTube, very smart man. Has a beautiful voice, which helps out a lot. Um, but very business savvy, very smart. Uh, has a lot of the inside that a lot of Joe schmucks like myself um, don't really pay attention to. I think all we focus on is uh, work, 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 get a check, work, work, work. And he kind of breaks down, is that check worth all the work, 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 work that you're doing? So uh, I will link his page below. I don't think his YouTube is as interactive at his, as his Instagram is, uh, but nonetheless, go search Sean Van Dyke on all your favorite social media outlets. Sounds broken. Sounds broken. Most likely, sir. I'll bet it was something nice, though.
I guess I won those at IBS. Neat. I just went through to get like this cool shot of me dumping the trash can. I had to move the camera fell. Damn it! You remember like the weirdest things from your childhood? Fuck it out. <laughs> I don't remember birthday parties and I don't really remember Christmases. One thing I remember is it's kind of going towards these boots. I don't have tie-up boots. I have slip-on boots. I have since I was in high school. Um, Everboot sent me these boots to wear. I told them I'd wear them for a while and like I'm not going to say anything about them until I've worn them and like them. It's been about three weeks. I love them. I wear them every day. Back to the story. Uh, I never have tie-up boots ever. But one thing I remember from my childhood, which may seem really strange, um, is my dad tying his work boots. And that's so weird. I can remember every day that I was around him in the morning or at night, him sitting in the chair in the kitchen, the closest to the door, and tying his work boots. And I always thought how freaking cool it was to watch him tie those, you know, the laces, how quick he could do them, you know? And then, you know, when I get older, I think I had a dad that I remembered him tying his work boots every day. You know, like, not all kids have that. Not everyone can grow up with a dad that subconsciously shows them how to work without saying a word. And that's the way it was. Um, and he'll watch this, but if you, if you talk to him or you ask him, he never thinks he did enough. You know, my dad never thought that, and he still don't think that he did enough for the kids, or he thinks of all the stuff he should have done. But the fact of the matter is, is he has three kids that are, I don't, now I'm sounding like a tootin' horn, but three successful, good uh, kids um, that have his last name that he can be proud of because of what we learned by just watching. So it's not always, it's not always what you're teaching. It's not always um, the lessons you sit down and talk about. Sometimes it's just leading the way making those footprints for someone else to walk in is the most beneficial thing I think as a leader, as a parent, uh, or as a person, as a mentor, uh, you can do. So, um, so every morning I tie, I tie these boots now and I, I just think back to a kid watching my dad lace up the, the old leather boots, uh, and how quick he could do it. It just always, some reason that stuck. So thanks pretty good mentor, dad. That's it. It's a good day. Thanks for following along. Hit that subscribe button, would you? I never say that, but go ahead and give it a smack. A little smack, smack, smackaroo. Hey, you